In this video, we are going to see the text of the poem, three poems written by Neil Manipuhan. Neil Manipuhan is an Indian poet in Assamese language. He is an academic too. He was born on 10th September 1933 in Dergon in Golahat district, Assam. He received his master's degree in history from Guwahati University in 1961. He had started writing poetry since the early 1950s. He worked as a lecturer at Aurya Vidyapit College in Guwahati from 1964 to 1992. He has translated Japanese and European poetry into Assamese. He received the Nyonpit Award for his lifetime contribution in literature in 2021, Assam Valley Literary Award in 1997, Sahitya Academy Award in Assamese for his poetry collection, Gobita in 1981, and Batmashri by Government of India in 1990. His notable works are Surya Henu Nami Ahe Eyi Nodi Edi, Puli Taka Surya Muhi Bulter Bale, Gulabi Jamur Lagna and Gobita. Three Poems is an important work written by him in Assamese language. Later it was translated into English. Now let's see the lines of the poem. In the rain-filled days, grass sprouts in the cracks of the huge boulder. The kind of grass that once grew, without my being aware of it, on the ribs in my chest, I lie face up on the boulder. With the rains, water flows down from the grass. As I slide down the slope, I change breath, I lose breath. And along the cracks of stone, treading the lush green, you ascend and come down again. As you keep ascending and descending like this, the earth will again be covered with grass. Even the silent tower on the Narahasu hill and then the blades of grass will whisper everything in your ears. Then the second poem, what were we talking about just now? About stone being hard, water cold, about fire burning and peacocks spreading their plumes? About what the world's first dawn was like and why a sweet fruit becomes bitter the moment it is in the mouth? About the sky flaring up like a live ember, just as five minutes to midnight? About the year slowly turning to sand? and the shadow of bamboo clumps turning to ashes. No, I don't remember anything at all now. Did you tell me a moment ago that you love me? The love that is dedicated only to mankind and only to destitute children or to what lies hidden amid the thirsty weeds at the bottom of the sea or in the chunk of coal? Was that what you spoke of on that midnight as you shed silent tears? In all these days I couldn't find a life that I could call my own or a death that was all for myself. Who is it that nimples to pieces my days and nights? How do I tide over this gory time? Who is that having some celebration so early in the evening? And who among the dead will attend it? How many times did the calf skin move and how many times did they return redden with blood? What did they see on their return when they looked back? And who did they not see on that lonely labyrinthine path? Like the wind, the horses are jumping about in the courtyard. Listen to their name. Last night a poet like you with a low voice passed away. One who had realized that there was nothing in his poetry, anything more profound than the chipping of the cricket. Have you fallen asleep? Are you all that sleepy? Wake up! What we were talking about just a moment ago, about water being cold, stone being hard, and about peacocks spreading their plume. Then the poem 3. From here, the waters stretch far beyond the horizon. When you reach out, the plantain leaf trembles. When you let fall your hair, the rains descend. In my heart sprouts a seed left behind by careless men who have eaten and forgotten. A dove comes flying, a blade of grass in its bill, or is it a jasmine garland? Now no one is dying anywhere, no child nor old man. 
from here one sees the sun going down and the moon rising from here one sees on opening the door eternally turning an earth warm with love ageless those two women at the gate of debarbatia in the gesture of welcome from your feet stretch the waters all the way far beyond the horizon with these lines the poem comes to an end till now in this video we have seen the lines of the poem three poems written by nil manipuhan hope it will be very useful to you thank you for listening